In this video, we're going to look at polynomial long division. Um, so what, as we get started with that, let's talk about what that should look like. So if we have our function f of x and we divide it by some other polynomial, that would be called the divisor polynomial. So this one is the divisor. Um, then that original function would be the divisor times the quotient polynomial plus the remainder polynomial. Now, when we actually write this, our final answer, we generally want to just give what the division led us to. We don't really include the given function or the divisor function either. So when we write our final answer, typical final answers will be of the form the quotient plus the remainder polynomial divided by the divisor if there is a remainder. Um, this looks a little weird, but let's do an example with numbers uh, just to kind of tie the two things together. So if we want to divide 7,193 by 42, the first thing we would do is so we would skip the 7 because 42 goes into 7 zero whole times. Then we look at the number 71. 42 goes into 71 once. I know it's not twice because that would be 84, which is bigger than 71. So we put a 1 here, and then we would subtract the, the, uh, the product of 42 times 1. So first we multiply, then we subtract. Um, this would be 6, 1. This would be 29. We bring down a 9. So now we bring down, and then we repeat. 42 goes into 299. I'm not sure. Um, I think it's going to be less than 5, so I'm going to check 4 over here. 8, 168. I think I am wrong. Let's try 5. That would be 210. Oh, I think we're going to get bigger. Times 6. 2, 252. Can we get one more in? Oh, I was way off with my prediction. 42 times 7. 294. Oh, look at that. Okay. So 42 goes into 299 seven times because 42 times 7 is 294. That would be 28. Yep. 294, which just barely squeezes in. This leaves us with uh, 53. The, the difference was uh, the 5, and then we bring down the 3. 42 goes into 53. This one I got. It goes in once, and then we subtract, and we would have 11. So you can write remainder 11, but that's what we do in elementary school. We're not in, in elementary school. Um, so what we really should do with this is we take the remainder, and we put it as a fraction over the quotient. So it would be 11 over 42. And so our quotient plus the remainder would be 171 and 11 over 42. That's what our final answers here will look like, except when we do the polynomial division, our answers are polynomials, and everything is polynomials, and there's just polynomials all over the place. So we're going to take a look at long division, polyno uh, long division for polynomials, kind of using the same technique that we used with the numbers. So here our divisor is x plus 2. And we are dividing that into, we're seeing how many times it goes into x to the fourth plus 5x cubed plus 6x squared minus x minus 2. Okay, so what we do is we actually focus on the first term, or the term with the highest degree. So we're going to focus on x. And we ask ourselves, how many times does x go into x to the fourth? And it would go in x cubed times. Here's where it can get a little bit weird, because I don't put that result above the x to the fourth. Because this one has two terms and they go in sequential degree order, so it goes the, the first degree and then no degree at all, I'm going to actually bump it over so it goes under here. That way it will line up with where that 2 is actually going to end up. So I'm going to put x to the cubed. And again, that x to the cubed was me taking the first term of the um, given polynomial and dividing it by the first term of the quotient polynomial. Now what did we do here? We took the 1, we multiplied it, and then we subtracted it. So we're going to multiply x cubed by our quotient, uh, excuse me, by our divisor. So that would give us x to the fourth plus 2x cubed. And then what do we do? We subtract it. Now, because I'm subtracting something with two terms, I'm going to put it inside parentheses. Now, I'm, uh, you have the choice. You can distribute the subtraction. You can just remember that there is a subtraction sign here, and that makes each of these terms negative. Whatever makes most sense to you is what you should do. Um, if we just leave it here, it's going to be x to the fourth minus x to the fourth. Those should cancel. If they don't cancel, you didn't choose the right um, piece for your quotient. So then go back and, and try again. 5x cubed minus 2x cubed is 3x cubed. Okay, next step, we bring down the next term from the given polynomial. So I'm going to bring down that 6x squared. Now we take the first term here. We divide it by the first term of the divisor. So 3x cubed 
divided by x is 3x squared. And we're going to say plus 3x squared. Now we take this piece and we multiply it to the binomial that we have as our divisor. That would give me 3x cubed plus 6x squared. And this really gets subtracted. So now we're going to subtract, and it turns out actually everything cancels. That worked out. So this becomes a 0, and this becomes a 0. Because when we subtract something from itself, the result is 0. So because everything canceled out, and I don't have a term here, I'm actually going to bring down the next two terms. So I'm going to bring down this negative x and this negative 2. Uh, just so that way I have the same number of terms in my partial quotient as I do in my divisor. So now, how many times does x go into negative x, and it goes in negative 1 times? So I would say minus 1. And then I take the minus 1, I multiply it to the two terms in my divisor quotient. That would be negative x minus 2. This ends up getting subtracted, and again, we end up with nothing left. That indicates to us that the, well, it means the remainder is 0, because now I've run out of terms to bring down, which means that x plus 2 is a factor of the given polynomial. So this is the quotient, and we didn't have a remainder. Hopefully we'll see a remainder in the next one, so you can see what that looks like. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, we have x squared plus 1, and we want to divide it into 2x cubed minus 8x squared plus 3x minus 9. One thing that's important to note that I should have noted there, although it wasn't an issue, is that we should make sure that uh, the exponents do go in decreasing order. So it goes 3, 2, 1, 0. So we want to be careful with that. We also want to make sure that nothing gets skipped. If there is something that's missing, we might want to put a 0 uh, to represent that, that missing spot. We might want to consider doing that here. It might be helpful just to see that extra term, because this can get a little bit weird. If you, so see how it goes from x squared and then to, to the constant? We're missing an x term. So it might be helpful to write this as x squared plus 0x plus 1. Putting that 0x in there doesn't change the value of the divisor. It's just creating that third term to make it a more traditional trinomial. OK, so first step, we take the, the leading term. We divide it into the leading term. So x squared goes into 2x cubed 2x times. And because there are three terms here, I'm going to go to the third term. And that's where I'm going to put my 2x. Now I'm going to multiply 2x by these three. So this would give me 2x cubed, 0x squared, if I want to get really fancy, plus 2x. But remember here, this really gets subtracted, so all the signs change. 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0. That's what should happen. Negative 8x squared minus 0x squared is negative 8x squared. 3x minus 2x is x. And then that was it for the, that piece. We'll bring down the next term. So we'll say minus 9. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to take this and divide it by the leading coefficient of the divisor. Uh, so we're going to divide this by x squared. And we would be left with minus 8. So this, this would give us minus 8x squared minus whoop, 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 plus 0x or minus 0x minus 8. But remember, this whole thing is being subtracted. So we have negative 8x squared minus negative 8x squared. Those cancel. x minus 0x is x. Negative 9 minus negative 8 is negative 1. So we've run out of terms to bring down, and we are left with an x minus 1. So here's what we do. Here's the quotient. We're going to add to it the remainder divided by the uh, divisor polynomial. So our final answer, let's just rewrite it, 2x minus 8 plus x, I don't know, I'm putting that in parentheses, x minus 1 over x squared plus 1. And if you want to check your work, you can take this and multiply it to x squared plus 1, and that should get you back to the original polynomial. Let's look at a few more examples of long division, uh, long division of polynomials. In our first example, we have negative 5x to the fourth, and we want to divide it by x plus 1. When we set up our long division, x plus 1 is the divisor. I'm going to make sure I have plenty of space here, so I'm going to do x plus 1 here. And negative, x to the, uh, negative 5x to the fourth is our uh, dividend or the given polynomial function. Now, when we're doing this, it's going to be really helpful if we include all the terms from x to the fourth down to a constant of 0. Since we only have one term in this polynomial, 
we're going to turn everything else into zeros. So we're going to say plus 0x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 0. That just allows us to have those numbers so that even though we don't see them, now we do, and we can use those to help us figure out the quotient. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our divisor, the first term. How many times does x go into negative x to the fourth? It goes in negative 5x cubed times. The way I'm getting this is you take this term and you divide it by this term. So that's where that came from. Because this has two terms and they go in uh, correct order, I'm just going to bump it over to the second. So this will be negative 5x cubed. We're going to take this, we multiply it to our divisor polynomial. That will be negative 5x to the fourth minus 5x cubed. And then this would go in parentheses and we really subtract. As I mentioned in the previous video, if you want to, you can change the signs. Otherwise, you just have to remember that everything has the opposite sign of what it does. Since in the last video I didn't change the signs, this time I will. So the definition, or one of the definitions of subtraction says it, uh, it's the equivalent of adding the opposite. So we could just change the sign here and change the sign here, and then that becomes a positive as a plus sign. Now we combine negative 5x to the fourth plus 5x to the fourth. That makes zero. That's what we intended to have happen. 0x cubed plus 5x cubed would be 5x cubed. And now we bring down the next term, 0x squared. We take this, we divide it by x, the first term of our divisor. Um, 5x cubed divided by x is 5x squared. So here we're going to say plus 5x squared. Now we take this and we multiply it. So that will give us 5x cubed plus 5x squared. And then really what we're doing here is we're subtracting. So since I said I was going to change all the signs, I'm going to change the signs. This becomes a negative. And this becomes a negative, and now I can change that to a plus. 5x cubed and negative 5x cubed cancel. 0x squared and negative 5x squared results in negative 5x squared. And now we're going to bring down the next term, plus 0x. We take the first term of our partial quotient. We divide it by the first term of our divisor. Negative 5x squared divided by x will be negative 5x. So minus 5x. Now we take that, we multiply it to the two pieces of our divisor. Negative 5x squared minus 5x, and we subtract. Uh, because we're subtracting, I'm going to distribute that. That's going to change that to a plus and that to a plus. Those cancel. 0x plus 5x is 5x. And we're going to bring down our constant, which is 0. Take the first term of the partial quotient, 5x. Divide it by x. We get 5. So plus 5. Multiply it through, that would give us 5x plus 5. And we actually subtract that piece. Five, uh, this becomes negative 5x, this becomes negative 5, and that we can change to addition. 5x minus 5x is 0. 0 plus negative 5 is negative 5. So negative 5 is the remainder. So just well, I, since I'm running out of space and I don't want to totally intrude on part D, um, I'm going to come over here and write the official quotient and remainder. It's negative 5x cubed plus 5x squared minus 5x plus 5 minus, so I'm going to put a minus there. Normally we add the quotient, but because it's negative, I'm just going to say that it's going to be, a, I'm excuse, the remainder, I'm just going to say that it's a minus. It's fine probably if you say plus and then put the negative 5 up top, but um, generally we, we don't want the double sign, so I'll just have that subtraction instead. We take the remainder, we put it over the uh, divisor. So it would be x plus 1. So this would be the final quotient and remainder for letter C. Over at letter D, so this one's a little bit different than what we've seen because this is the first time that our first term has a coefficient besides 1. So let's see what happens. And not only that, but actually it also has subtraction. So doubly new, two new things here. First thing I notice about my dividend is that it is missing the x squared term. So I'm going to slide over the 6x minus 3. I'm going to say plus 0x squared plus 6x minus 3. That way I have all the terms from x to the fourth down to the constant. Okay, same idea as what we've done. So we're going to take 2x, we divide it into 4x to the fourth, that would be 2x cubed. That varies by a degree of 1, so I'm going to put my 2x cubed conveniently located over another 2x cubed. We take the 2x cubed and multiply it to 2x minus 3. That would give me 4x to the fourth minus 6x cubed. And this is subtraction. So if you want to change the signs, you can. Or if you want to just remember that it's subtraction, that's fine too. 
I'm changing the signs in this video, so that will become negative, this will become positive, and that becomes positive. Those cancel as they should. Negative 2x cubed plus 6x cubed is 4x cubed. And now we bring down the next term, 0x squared. 2x goes into 4x cubed, 2x squared many times. So we're going to say plus 2x squared. Now we're going to take the 2x squared and multiply it. That's going to give me 4x cubed minus 6x squared. And then we will subtract. Um, four, uh, I'm going to change the signs. That's right. There we go. Okay, 4x cubed and negative 4x cubed make 0. 0x zero to the 6 plus, si excuse me, 0x squared plus 6x squared is 6x squared. So 6x squared. Bring down the next term, 6x. 6x squared divided by 2x is 3x. 3x times 2x minus 3 will be 6x minus 9x. That's going to be subtracted, so I'm going to change my signs. Boop. 6x squared, whoops, try that again. 6x squared and negative 6x squared cancel each other out. 6x and 9x make 15x. And then we're going to bring down the next term uh, from the dividend. We're going to take the 15, the 15x, and divide it by 2x. That's going to give me 15 over 2x. So we do have to deal with a fraction this time. It's okay. We're going to get through it. All right, so we take our 15 over 2, we multiply it here, that's going to give me 15x. And we multiply it here, and that's going to give me negative 45 over 2. If you want to convert this to a decimal or to a mixed number, whatever works best for you is totally fine. Um, I would actually suggest leaving it an improper fraction, though, just because when we get to the remainder, it should really be an improper fraction. This really gets subtracted, so this will be negative and this will be positive. 15x and negative 15x is 0. Negative 3 and 45 over 2. Well, negative 3 is something over 2, and it's negative 6 over 2. So it's negative 6 plus 45, which would be 39 over 2. So 39 over 2, that is our remainder. Let's write the whole thing out. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to put it up here because I really don't have much other space. So here's our quotient, 2x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 15 over 2. And then our remainder... So when we write this, we're going to put 39 over, and rather than doing 39 over 2 over 2x minus 3, we can just combine the, the two denominator pieces. So this would be 2 times 2x minus 3. 